This is the story of how we went to Jordan to set up a precious plastic workspace entirely run by women. The project is in collaboration with Princess Laura Faisal and has two main goals, tackling the plastic waste problem whilst empowering the local community. And it all started with these three. All right, this is Amman. It's a city of around 4 million people with a big plastic waste problem. And on top of that, we have a woman's workforce problem. So why not tackle both at the same time? Uh, I'm Lara. I have a social enterprise called Rise for Good. And we started a precious plastic workspace in Amman. To speak very generally, women do not enjoy equal rights in Jordan, okay? In most of the Arab world and in many other parts of the world. But specifically in Jordan, we have a very small percentage of women that earn their own income. Women make up less than 14% of the workforce in Jordan. That is ridiculous for the 21st century. Uh, hi, my name is Petra Orfali. I'm a fashion designer slash an artist. I live in Jordan. Here in this uh, space, we have two workshops, one for my brand, the fashion line, and one for Plastica which is uh, an upcycling project for credit, uh, bank credit cards, plastic uh, credit cards. In our society, women, they don't get all their rights. So we have to empower each other so we can stand up on our feet. Women, they have lots of possibilities and lots of uh, potential. We see successful examples every day. So I know it's there and I know we should work on that. Right, so here we have a big plastic waste problem and we have a women in the workforce problem. So how cool would it be if we increase the number of women in the workforce by bringing them in to this sector, to this industry that is still virgin, that still has a long way to go before we can become efficient, competent recyclers of all kinds of waste, not just plastic waste. My name is Saysaban Mahsiri and I have a company called Saysaban Mahmoud for the production. هلا بنعمل زي جمع للبضاعة بنشتريها من الناس البسيطة ممكن إنه بيلموها مثلا من المكبات إحنا بنشتريها منهم بعدها بنفرز بعدها جرش بعدها توريد للمصنع النهائي علشان يصنع بضاعة من البلاستيك مرة تانية صارت معي في مصنع ما رفض إنه يعطيني الوس تبعه because إنه I'm girl فكان لحالة هاي صدمة إنه ليه أنا قد لا أنا برا الصندوق تماما كيف بنت تدخل هذا المجال لا بدي أدخل هذا المجال ما في إشي بيصعب علينا الهدف تبعي إنه أخلي أغلب الإناث إنه يدخلوا معي هذا الشغل We don't really have the data that tells us how much waste we produce um, where it goes how much of it ends up in landfills, how much of it gets recycled. We set up our workspace in a neighborhood called Jabal al-Nadif. Jabal al-Nadif is a neighborhood on a hilltop that overlooks downtown Amman. It is a marginalized community. It's a relatively poor community. There is often um, a great curiosity, a hunger to be given an opportunity, to be involved in having an impact. And I would say probably the perfect place to set up a precious plastic workspace, <laughs> specifically for those reasons. Hey guys. So we finally arrived here in Amman. And we're gonna set up a precious plastic workspace. But to do that, we need some machines. We packed the machines in a big box and sent them to Amman in Jordan. Shipping machines across the world is not an easy process. Even though we've done it a lot, each time something's bound to go wrong. But they made it. We got some help from the neighbours unloading the machines. The whole day, setting up the workspace and testing the machines went pretty smooth, except from one tiny hiccup. While we were testing the injection machine, the injection machine plunger broke. So now we contacted a local metal worker to fix it for us. So we're on the way now. We are now 
using the injection machine and it's working perfectly. So now we can move on to test the other machines. To have the, to have the machines in the space and to see them all working, um, I'm very happy. That's all I can say. I'm super, super happy. How did yesterday go? All the machines are working. Electricity is fine. Uh, we're gonna receive some furniture today, some shredded plastic, which is really good. Use your um, wood from the boxes. Yes, and the wood you saw yesterday from the boxes, we're gonna use it to make workbenches, tool boards. So then we are all good to start putting everything in place, do the layout and get ready for the training next week. So yeah, excited for today. Okay, we've set up, workspace is done, and now we're ready to train the local team. So having the machines is one thing, but knowing how to run them and how to work with plastic is a whole other thing. So the first couple of days, we went through some presentations about precious plastic and plastic recycling. Whoa. And then Lucy went through the basics with the shredder and the injection. Wait, the whole thing? And I spent the whole day going through the extruder, since it's a more complex machine and requires more time to go through the details. Finally, we did some assisted production so that the team can become more independent and feel more confident in the workspace. Yeah, so the past two weeks we spent the whole time in the workspace training the people, teaching them how to use the machines, how to use the molds. And it's been very cool to see how they learn so fast and also their excitement in like their face and how they see a product coming out of the mold. And it did just all come together yesterday. Like it was like quite an intense last day, like really chaotic. Oh, no, we have my computer. So much going on, everyone wanting to make the most out of our time here, but different members of their team were just whipping out different products like Petra, started making earrings and it was just all coming together, like we made the bench. Yeah, I think also this was like the cherry on the cake because also it was the biggest product we could make. So yeah, it was really exciting to see how much recycled plastic, how much plastic we could recycle with such a cool product. Uh, because so far, the women here just like try with like small products, like carabiner styles, uh, beads. Hopefully, the more workshops run by women using these tools will then inspire others that they're teaching. They have a role model to look up to. I think it's really impactful, and it will be. Because girls like machines too. I feel awesome about the future of precious plastic in Jordan. So our next challenges to find a team of women. We already have seven women from Jabal al Nadif. We will hopefully be able to train them as well as you trained us. So again, the idea is not for us to become this precious plastic conglomerate in Jordan. It is for us to become a reference and help others create precious plastic workspaces. 
hopefully many more women to create precious plastic workspaces. I'm very hopeful, extremely hopeful. Lara and the local team are now equipped with all the tools and knowledge to recycle plastic in Jordan. If you want to start a plastic recycling workspace, go to preciousplastic.com and get started. <laughs>